Hello my lovelies, how are you? So great to have you here. So this is what I look like with hair. Um, this is just a really cute synthetic wig that um, I picked up on Wish or eBay a while ago, just for funsies. And today's look is really going to work with this wig. So of course I had to put it on. This is probably my dream colour. If I um, if I could, I would probably have had this colour in my hair naturally. I just, yeah, I've tried many times, but my natural hair colour is way too dark and my hair is way too fine. And I'm not showing it anymore anyway, so... Um, doesn't matter. The only time I've, my hair's gone even close to this color is when I dyed it purple and it faded. So, yeah. <laughs> Today's look, I'm going to be doing my take on Jean Grey. Now, for those of you who don't know, that is the main character of the latest X-Men movie. Um, the last movie of this particular franchise of the X-Men series, played by Sophie Turner, who I love from Game of Thrones. And um, But I think I probably resonate more with other representations of her. Uh, but the only thing that's really consistent is that there's that comic book resemblance and that is the red hair the really misunderstood but very powerful girl that well I won't do any spoilers for what happens but anyway the look though we can take that anywhere we like so it wouldn't be me if I just did a little natural no makeup kind of look that um, she's often represented with um, if I were Jean Grey and I could read minds and, and do all these wonderful things and have all these amazing powers I think that Nonetheless, I'd probably gravitate towards makeup and just read the mind of the greatest makeup artists out there and <laughs> try and represent that. So on that note, let's um, let's get started with our skincare and then some mineral foundation to set it. A light setting with mineral foundation. I've got my sun cream under my eyes and I even bring it up to where my brow is. Um, in my work, I do see a lot of skin cancers around the eyelid area. So don't be afraid to bring your sun cream closer to your eye area. It needs it too. I've got my beautiful moisturizer which I'm loving. It's taken a minute, I'll be honest, to really work. Um, the initial results were much more impressive than say a week into it, but now that we're almost two months into it, um, really amazing. Natural products take a while to show results, but they're worth it long term and it's not even that long term, it's only a few months. So. Okay, and now for the next step, let's do some eyebrows. I've just gone for a slightly more chestnut toned eyebrow rather than a dark eyebrow um, because I feel I can do that with either a lighter colored tickle or with this color um, wig. But if I wear bolder colours, darker colours, I do tend to darken up my eyebrows as well. And we're just going to do a little bit of highlight later on. This is a really powerful character. She's a high level uh, mutant. She's got multiple talents or powers or gifts. Um, and I feel like that means that her makeup could represent that. And wouldn't it be cool if I could just make the brush float and just do things for me? <laughs> um, I'm going to start with a really beautiful natural pink. I'll just show you two if I can. It's a bit mauve -y. Looks very bright in the camera, but it, it'll go on pretty natural. And of course, the lids are primed with a bit of oils. Okay, into um, just patting it into the crease. Now, normally I would use a blending brush, but um, because it's quite a bold colour, even though I, I'm going to end up making it more neutral looking, um, I just want to be in more control here. So, really having some product placement. I'm going to take this blending brush and I'm going to go into a bit of a neutral colour there and just smoke it out into the upper part of the arch. I'm going to take a concealer now, an actual concealer. Um, I'm just going to cut out that inner corner a little bit. Okay, so it just looks like that, very, very lightly with a flat brush. I'm going to take a shimmery pink, that's a bit lighter than the one that I used there, and place it into the corners. Next, I'm going to take a tiny little blending brush and go in with a nice warm slightly shimmery brown can't really see it let's see if I can sort of like that and just building up this crease a little bit more just blending it out just taking a pointy little brush and going in with a really light shimmer any color would be fine for this I'm going in with a bit of a yellowy neutral kind of color and just doing the inner corners. So I'm loving this lid look. I think what we need to do though is just finish off with a some something on the lower lash line. What I've been doing lately is taking a brush a bit like that. I actually really like that it's angled. I find it a lot easier to work with. Um, and I'm just going to go into a slightly stronger pink. Just a shade stronger. So just like that. So just a bit darker really. Oh, focus. Anyway. And I'm going to spray it with my setting spray. I like to talk my little, little, just a little. Just try trace the lash line there. OK, 
Okay, next we're going to have some really good fun. The one thing I always feel that redheads look amazing with is green. So I've got this amazing pencil. This is an older packaging um, of the eye definer. It's the colour Jade, and it's a bit metallic in its or shimmery in its quality, um, but it doesn't scratch or irritate the eyes, which is really lovely. I'm going to start with the wet line, and I'm going to bring it out following that pink line. Okay, next I'm just going to bring it up into the just the outer edge. Just taking a small brush, it doesn't even matter if it's got product or not, I'm just going to smudge it a little bit. It's one of the things I love the best about these pencils is that they're just so beautifully creamy and then they dry down perfectly and last all day and they're waterproof. Okay. hope you don't mind the singing in the background if you can hear it. That's just my little one having a blast. Um, I'm going to finish up with some mascara and as always just brushing out the edges rather than building up the roots. Okay, just line the lips a little bit and we're just going to finish it off with some very pretty pink gloss. Okay, now that that's all done, I'm actually going to go back now and do my bronzer. Because I've not really ever worn hair like this, I didn't really know how strong I wanted to make my contouring. Um, so I thought I'd leave it to last and see how the makeup went and how all the colours blended first. So I'm actually going to go quite light. I don't know why, I just feel like that's going to be... The way to go maybe because my brows are lighter my makeup's quite subtle um, for me in terms of colors and things like that so i might just leave it a bit more natural looking okay contouring time I think it's really important to keep things pretty natural when it comes to contouring and highlighting. You should be enhancing and bringing out things you like and dulling down things you don't, but you're not really creating things that aren't there. So I, for example, really like that I've got this really defined cheekbone, so I always redefine it to bring it out. I don't love my huge nose, so I always try and sculpt it to make it just a little bit less obvious. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm not going to go for uh, no surgery or anything like that. And You know what I mean? So I just want to keep it really natural, just glamorous pretty. I think we've got that down pat now. Alrighty, so I'm going to leave it there. I think I have nailed the Jean Grey thing. I love the hair. I think the makeup is natural enough to represent how she's normally drawn in the comics and um, how they've done her up in the movies, but still true to who I am and what I would be like if I also happen to have these mutant powers. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this look. I hope you try some of these things at home. Um, and thank you, as always, for coming along on the journey with me. I really love having you here. I hope you can hit the like and subscribe and sh shout me through a comment. Come over to my Instagram and see what we're doing there as well because I'm going to be working a lot more on my feed in the coming weeks um, because I'm really enjoying it. I really, really love all of this process and I really love that you guys are along with me. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.